In this video, we'll look at four design techniques for building out your website on different screen sizes. These techniques are called fixed, responsive, adaptive, and fluid design. So first, let's check out fixed design. This was used in the early days of the internet. Basically, containers had a fixed width, which caused horizontal scrolling and meant we had to zoom in and out and pan all around on our mobile phones to view the desktop version. This is a bad design practice that most sites are moving away from nowadays. The second technique is responsive design, which is similar to fixed design, except things are allowed to stack under each other and we can adjust the layout on different screen sizes. This is great for templated designs that don't require a lot of precision and it's easy to learn. The next technique is adaptive design. This still uses fixed sizes, but it makes everything smaller before anything can start to stack. This requires a lot of breakpoints, but gives us more control over the layout. It also helps ensure the design doesn't look too small on larger screen sizes and is used by companies like Apple. The last technique is fluid design. Now this uses scalable type instead of fixed sizes, which keeps elements proportionate to each other and to the screen size. It also ensures all the available space is used. But elements can get too small on smaller screens and too large on larger screens. So you may be wondering, which technique should I use? Well, the answer is none of these techniques can make a perfect website by themselves. We need to be meticulous about each screen size for it to work best for our users. In most cases, things like smaller paragraphs are best set to fixed sizes so they don't shrink and get too small, while fluid sizes are better used for things like page padding or large headlines so they can shrink down and leave enough space for the other content on our site on small screens. Let's check out a few examples of how we can combine these techniques. On their contact page, Cuberto is using adaptive and responsive design, so things can stack on mobile, but on larger sizes, things stay together like a unit. On their homepage, however, they're actually using fluid design combined with adaptive design, so things scale on most desktop sizes, but before things get too large, they sort of lock in. Now, if they would have tried to use responsive design in this hero where things stack underneath each other, it would sort of lose the impact of the design they had planned in this section. So fluid design is really a great choice in this case. When we bring all these techniques together, we can have a site that looks beautiful and scales across all breakpoints, having some elements that are scalable where they need to be, and then on mobile switching a lot of things to fixed sizes and allowing things to stack using responsive design while still bringing in adaptive design so things don't get too large. I put together a technique that I like to use where I bring together all of these things called the wizardry technique. And I've set it up to where it can be as easy as possible to also have that full control over all the breakpoints and making sure things scale seamlessly. I'll leave a link to the wizardry tutorial in the description of this video. So this wraps up the different design techniques that are available for adjusting our websites on different screen sizes.